Welcome to another week here at Tutorial We are going to finish replacing all the rot in this corner, especially this stud. We have to fix this stud on the bottom and take the beam out underneath there. And then there is one more joist that we have to repair. We can't take the hole out because unfortunately it's, it's too long that I can actually purchase right now. And so I'm gonna just replace a, uh, a certain portion of it and then we have to put the joists back in. So you can see here where the wood is not rotten, it is really hard and metal is having a tough time getting through because it is really solid wood.
there's our backyard totally overgrown that is going to be a whole project by itself the yard and and everything and so we have to take that out and you can see our neighbor actually they have cleared all the way to the end of that property line which is actually the same as ours so in the back there where their area stops would be ours so we want to fill that up too and go out there and then on this side we actually have there's a tree back right here that's probably just barely not on our property so our property goes a little further in that direction the only problem with that is it's pretty steep downhill right off the fence so we might have to figure out if we want to put a retaining wall or something so that we can use some of that space there So now we're done prepping this surface and we've cut all the nails down. We're going to put a double stud here to replace the stud that was by the window and it'll go all the way up. two choice to length and cut out the notches so we can put them back in here and then cut them to the correct height obviously all of, all the height over there has changed a little bit with these beams being different thicknesses and different dimensions than the old ones were so I just gonna have to measure and put them at the right height
now that we fixed those three joists over there, we now need to fix the joist, the double joist that was going all the way over here. We need to replace that one. We can't replace the whole length, unfortunately, because I'm not able to purchase long enough lumber right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the front one that is in much worse shape. I'm going to cut the front one off somewhere over here. The metal post underneath it will still support that joist behind it. Okay, now that we have the piece cut off from here, all the way over there, the front one, we are going to put a new one on. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to notch it correctly and then hopefully put it on right away. And then after that, I'm going to cut this joist off somewhere here. Obviously that's not the best way to do joists, but unfortunately there's just no other way on this one. I just don't get the length of wood that I need and so we just have to make do. It's going to be more stable than it was before, so I feel pretty confident about it and I'm gonna add more blocking in to these joists over there so it, the, um, the weight can be supported by the joists next to it. So now that we got the first one fixed, we need to lower the beam, see if it's pretty stable. Then we will take the, then we'll cut the other side out and re replace the other side. Looks pretty stable still. So time to cut off the piece over here. the whole floor again we will add some more blocking Not sure if you can tell, but I use these type of screws. I used the same type of screw when I did the beam up in the dining room hallway area. These are new types of screws. Instead of having to use a leg screw or a leg bolt, you can actually use this and they are just as strong. They are structural screws. So these two beams are now considered as one beam just because you put in if you put enough of those in there, they are they combine wood together as if it was one continuous beam together.
can see, we finished the entire corner and also the joists underneath it so that next week really nothing holds us back from doing the flooring. These sides, just in this area here, we still have to finish the blocking. There's also a little bit of debris still that I have to clean up in those pockets behind it. Finish the blocking here and then over where the hallway comes in, I have to finish blocking there and finish taking out some of the area over here. You can see there's still just a small little triangle over here and we put another supporting joist so we can put the floor up, but just blocking, clean up, and then we can lay all the subfloor actually down. Well, I think that's it for this week. We will see you all next time we turn on the camera. Thanks for watching. Bye.